What is up guys, it is Zane here. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to configure these little buttons on your mouse and all pretty much every single button and these buttons too if you want to change to them. So recently, like yesterday, I purchased this mouse for like eight bucks and it had side buttons and I had no idea how to use them. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to configure them and literally my mouse came with nothing, it just came with this and like a little box. This is what it said. So it's pretty much nothing on how to configure it. So yeah, I'll teach you guys how to do that right now. What is up guys, it is Zane here and I'm back. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna click on your file thing. I don't know, whatever you have for files. And then you're gonna wanna go right here. It should be control panel under desktop. So you're gonna wanna click on that and then right click it and click create shortcut. Or you can just click pin to start. So after you do that, you're going to want to open it up, or if you if you don't have it in your desktop, you can search user account, so it's right there, click that, and then click control panel home, and then click uninstall program, just so you're ready, just in case you screw up your x -Mouse. So once you click that, I already have two of them set up, so I'm going to delete that one. You're going to want to go on this link right here. So this is the website where you download the X mouse to configure the things. So trust me guys, it isn't a virus. So what you what you're gonna want to do, like right when you start, it'll say download and then this stuff right here. You're gonna wanna click latest version. It's all the way at the top, so don't go anywhere else. Just click on that link and go to the latest version. So once you open that up, uh it's gonna ask you like, do you wanna do this? And then just agree with it. It shouldn't take too long. It's to take like maybe a minute to a minute and a half. And so, yep, there it is. So click finish. And right when you start off, it should take you to this little link. I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, you successfully downloaded it. Please donate because they need money. So, yeah, so once you do that, you're going to see X mouse button control at the bottom right hand of your screen. So... Sometimes it'll come up in this little arrow thing, but for me it didn't. So you're going to want to right click it, and then you can restore it as a desktop icon layout. Save desktop icon layout, and then all these other things. So, Or you can disable it, and I'll teach you guys what to do with that later. So setup, you're going to want to click setup. And then do not do anything with the left and right button. Because the left and right button are the actual like main clicking things, so you don't want to do anything with those. But if you do accidentally do something, I'll teach you guys in like a second. So if you do want to put like any key that's not on here, you're going to want to go to uh, stimulated keys. So click that, and then you could change it however you want. But for the top buttons, like F5, this is how you're going to want to do it. So F5, like that, so it's in like parentheses things. So I'm going to keep it at... I don't even know what I had of that, so I'm just going to click cancel. <laughs> so once you do that, uh, you can put whatever you want. It's really good for Minecraft PvP, because, as you know, I'm a Minecrafter, so, yeah. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to click apply, because you should, it should, like, be, like, out, so you can click it, because I haven't done anything new yet, so. Once you're done with that, click apply, and if you do accidentally put something for the right click, I'll teach you guys what to do. So you should have the X mouse button control at the bottom right corner. So if you right click that, hopefully you didn't disable right click or else you're screwed. <laughs> so so right click it and then you can either click enter for disable mouse button. Uh, but if you can't do that, then you're going to want to like cover over that and then try every, anything you can to open it. Please like hopefully you didn't do anything stupid and put that when I told you not to. So then you're going to want to click enter, so enter, and then right click the uninstall, I mean not right click, but click enter on uninstall, and then you can move your little keys, like these arrows at the bottom, you can click that to yes or no, I'm going to put it as no, because I don't want to uninstall it because I didn't screw anything up, so yeah, that's how you change it, and that's how you reset it, hopefully you didn't change like both of the keys because that's like really bad and I honestly don't even know what you can do you could try to figure out how to disable it but it's gonna be really hard and you're gonna have to figure out some ways to like configure this like your keyboard so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out